everyone, welcome to Watchy Paint. In this video, I want to talk about a static grass applicator. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, like I hadn't, what it does is it allows you to apply the, that sort of static grass you get from various places, including the Army Painter and Serious Play. And there's different ranges of static grasses, different colors, different sizes, that sort of thing. And this applies it in a way that makes it stick up. So you might have seen a video on the channel, which I did, which applied some of this step grass by the army painter and it did so and it looked it looked decent looked good uh, I, I was completely happy with it at the time it looked like a nice muddy battlefield now using the static applicator you can apply it so all of the grass sticks straight up which sounds absolutely fantastic to me so i thought i would give it a go and show it you all i'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check one out yourselves if you'd like to pick it up it'll probably hopefully fingers crossed be an affiliate link so you will be slightly supporting the channel but check what it does and see if it would be useful for you and it was about 20 pounds for this specific one it's not a very expensive one i think you can spend a lot more uh, it's also not 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 that cheap either so it swings and roundabouts it depends what you're going to look for so first thing we're going to do is get a base so here's just a base that i've got laying around we're going to need some water-based glue some pva glue i'll apply a dollop directly to the base in this case we'll need a cheap brush and we're just going to try and spread that evenly all over this base now you could water this down but i think it's going to work better nice and thick and glunky try and keep all of the the grass in place over time next up we're going to put something down on the table although i've got a cutting mat this one's actually irremovable <laughs> so let's put one down that i can pick up afterwards because there's going to be a lot of stray grass that will collect up again waste not one not that sort of thing then we're going to take the applicator and this one in particular takes two double aa batteries in here with this particular set it actually comes with some of this static grass with the kit so we'll use that in the demonstration so you can see exactly what you get with this kit now i think a lot of them come with some so it's a good good to show this one and then we put a load into this capsule here just tip it all in now hopefully i'm going to be able to collect this up at the end easily anyway so it doesn't matter if i overfill this in this particular case we screw the lid back in now one thing to to note once we've turned the power through this which i should be careful not to click this button here which is the on button it is going to run electricity through this mesh and it warns you in the english instructions to never touch this because you will get a nasty nasty shock uh so i've avoided that so far in my test runs uh but yeah, be, be, be super careful and don't let it near kids, that sort of thing. Then you're supposed to connect up the negative or the ground to your base, like so. Then it's as simple as taking the applicator, pressing the power button, holding it over the base and just shaking it from side to side. And you'll get a buildup of that static grass and it's gonna be all sticking up nice and just give it a nice fuzzy, warm feel. So I'll shake it all on. really overkilling this now you can do it multiple times or you can put the whole pack in because i should be able to collect this up waste not one not and all and there we see just knock tap this off a little bit for some of the excess hopefully you can see that applying and sticking up vertically Ooh, look at that all fuzzy and it feels nice as that dries it will take a while to dry but it's going to dry nice and spiky very realistic very grass like then we'll just pop that off and what it says in the instructions to do next is to touch the earth, uh, complete the circuit, short circuit it, and that's going to take the electricity out of this dangerous mesh. I'll show you that. First time I did this, it scared the living daylights out of me. So get ready. And it scared me again. Did you see that shake? It is a big, big, loud pop. Just rub it around a little bit. Leave it on for five seconds. Let that make sure there's no electricity running through that mesh. I'm still not going to touch it for for a while anyway but it's going to make it safe and i would take the batteries out outside of use as well to not accidentally use it now that particular base i just showed you is still drying but this is one i did earlier and it's somehow attached much thicker than it did with that example i could see some of the glue through it maybe i used less in there but i did nothing particularly special here maybe held it a little bit closer that sort of thing but hopefully you can see the grass is really thick you can't see any of the base below and yeah it's all just sticking up lovely added a little bit of flowers in here for some variation just to test that out but it feels so good it feels like little tufts of grass very very cool now i've poured most of that grass back into the bag but i should mention in this kit as well you get this huge 
little soft paintbrush and this has got a couple of uses one i've been using it just to scoop up some of that grass that's not coming off the mat as easily as i would like and just get it back in the bag by brushing it into the bag off the side of the table and then the other thing is you can use this to clean the applicator and just get some of that grass out of the mesh once the electricity is not running through it just because i did a video previously using step grass on a base and showing you how to apply this and get a nice turfy looking base i want to do exactly the same use army painters again because i think this is nicer grass just see how that comes out on this base so it's going to be exactly the same steps as before we're going to add a splash of pva to the base i'm going to spread that pva around just to cover the whole base so grass sticks everywhere now you could paint the base a, a more grassy color as well or mud color if you're worried about it not being a little bit patchy or if you want it a bit patchy that's a, an alternative there as well but i'm just going to trust in the grass covering it all and also some sort of miniature holder if only i had one you know like the hobby holder or something to hold the base would be easier to apply the glue with so now we're going to add some grass into here i'm just going to make sure it's discharged before i unscrew this lid and get a nasty shot so this time we're going to load up the container with the army painted step grass we're going to put in a handful or two into here that should be more than enough but let's just do two because it comes out of a huge pot it could be for covering much much lava lava much much larger surfaces than this if you're covering a terrain map or you know like a train set or something like that so we're, we're covering a relatively small area so it's quite difficult to hit the exact bit we're aiming for i'm going to screw back on the mesh I'm going to earth back up the base now one problem with this is it's leaving a little bit of area uncovered but you can just sprinkle a tiny bit on or cover that with a rock or something that's what i've been doing just adding some extra realism to the area anyway and then let's apply the army painters grass so i'm going to turn it on and sprinkle it over it now this time i think i've got a much richer coverage it looks very spiky and i can not see any of the ground the ground the base underneath so that's gone i just put a load more in so it's it's really the size of the element that you're you're filling it with against the tiny tiny miniature base so you want to overfill it and make sure you've got it so you can put it back in the pot afterwards and reuse this but yeah look at that all nice and spiky all nice and sticking up love it and very very realistic grass isn't it by the army painter a lot more than that bright green cheap stuff but you know, there's a purpose and a place for each and every one of them. And this is more of a highlandy feel. And the other one's like a summer grass in a fairy tale environment. So once again, let's just discharge the device and make myself jump again. Another little cool thing we can do is take a bit of baking paper. This is non-stick, sort of grease proof baking paper. And then we're going to use some more PVA glue. This time we're going to be squirting on some blobs with a little bit of space between each so they're not touching i'm going to be building up some grass tufts here that we can apply to miniatures as as singular grass tufts instead of basing the entire base and i'm not doing amazingly well with the camera in the way with the blobs but hopefully you get the the gist you know what i'm going for here you've seen grass tufts you can make your own using whatever static grass you would like again here i'm going to use the army painters because it's still in the container but there's lots and lots of ranges and lots and lots of different colors and shades to get and then it's exactly the same process as we've been doing we're going to earth up the sheet we're going to apply the power to the applicator i'm going to turn it and start shaking it sideways we should cover it over the whole thing and hopefully catch all of these blobs of glue with enough that we can uses tufts later on and you can see them taking shape already so i'll allow them to dry so let's have a look at that grass in situ on a miniature here's a miniature i've been painting in the past i've added some flowers just to make the base a little bit more interesting and it gives me that bit to hold with the with the grounding cable and it's not going to leave a little bowl patch or anything like that and I think the grass is really going to finish off this miniature. And it, it shows us what I was saying about picking some static grass that suits the miniature. And this one is Serious Plays 2mm, which I think actually would probably like 5mm. Sort of, you know, he's in a bit of a long grass. But 2mm is fine. It's what I've got available. And this is the spring version. And I just think that green goes well with the, the flowers. Like these look like it's springtime flowers. So springtime grass. And it's going to be the same process I've done the rest of the time. We're going to apply some glue to the miniature to begin with. 
This time I'm going to be taking a smaller brush because this has got a miniature on and I want to be a little bit more careful where I apply this paint, uh, paint, this glue. And I've also painted this base bright green to go with that spring, spring colored grass that we're going to be using the applicator for. But that's just going to, just in case any of it doesn't quite get full coverage, especially as I've got paint with the camera in the way and around uh, an already existing miniature and and these flowers as well to some extent it's all gonna it's all gonna make it more difficult to apply this glue exactly how i want so yeah i'd recommend if you're doing it straight to a minute a based miniature i'd go for painting the base but realistically i could have just not glued the miniature on here if i knew i was going to do this in advance that's certainly something i would have looked at gluing the miniature on after i've stuck the grass on which i think would be much much easier or even pinning it so once again we've overloaded the container with plenty of grass so we can really get good coverage we're going to apply the earthing cable and i'm going to stick it to that plant there so i've got full coverage then we're going to turn it on and just again just sprinkle it all over the miniature it's going to take a little bit of cleaning up of this one afterwards but we'll tap some off now and i might have to get a little brush detail hard strong brush to just brush some of that off of the flowers which i didn't want it to stick to while this is all drying, I'm just going to safely remove these batteries so there's no fear of electrocuting myself or especially any children who might pick this up and think it's a toy. So I'm going to keep the batteries well out of this device when I'm not using it. Well, guys, I've left these on the radiator for about half an hour, so they might be dry. I don't know how long PVA glue takes to dry, but I just wanted to get on with it. So you can see that they've all taken like a tufty shape. Let's try and just hopefully just pull one off. Yeah, it worked. Oh, the glue is still a little bit wet, so I should have let it dry. A bit longer but you could see i just pulled that off oh it's quite tacky actually that's quite good i could probably stick that straight away but now you've just created your own teeny tiny little tuft and it gives you more control if you want specific shapes little u shapes c shapes backward c shapes all sorts of c shapes uh over over one square if you want a little square around something you could do that or if you just want to make your own tufts you know if you've got a load of this static grass and you've got some glue and a little bit of baking paper and you've got the applicator anyway you never need to buy buy the actual tufts anymore you could just make them so that's cool that's an army painter tuft there that I made myself so i've got a whole a whole pile of them now and you can make them in huge quantities couldn't you i could have put a lot more dots in there but that's pretty cool so you can take them off add a little bit of super glue i'd say to the bottom and stick that on a base like you would a normal you know pre pre-packaged set of tufts you can see mine's not quite as perfectly shaped but that's because i couldn't squeeze the glue properly but that could be beneficial you need different shapes no more worrying about how many small small mediums and large you've get and just crack them out so nice 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 let's also have a, a quick look at those bases now they're more or less dry and we can see i didn't get full coverage either i've missed some glue or well the crocodile clip was holding on somewhere but i think given the cameras in my way i probably missed some glue in the middle you can see where i got full full coverage that's looking lush this is really really lush this is the grass that you got free with the set and actually to some degree like on camera that's looking beautiful in person it looks a little bit it looks fake <laughs> is that a bad thing the grass is gonna look fake but it looks too lush too beautiful for in my opinion i like when there's different colors in it but saying that there's always going to be a time and a place if you've got a really really lush summer diorama or something there's going to be there's going to be places to use this i will definitely use it especially to make tufts maybe i just want some bright green tufts you can buy bright green tufts so why not use it but yeah that's how it's looking and you can see it's all sticking up it just looks so much more realistic than when it's flat and then this is the army painters mixture one like i say i just think although this looks dull and wintry and dirty and bleh, it does look in my opinion i always think it looks more realistic when there's a mixture of colors in there and again you can see it's sticking up nicely all the way around quite uniform isn't it but sticking up in slightly different directions so uniform in height they've got they're really precise with the grass cutting and this in this army painter mowing field but again that's where the crocodile clip was holding i could stick something on or i could just add a little bit of glue and just do it again quickly now and this is a bit looks like i've i've just missed whereas on the the example i had well let's have a look at the the actual one i did on the miniature where i was a lot more careful because this was finished i don't think i missed anywhere here the crocodile clip was on one of these these plants so it's a non-issue now this grass it was only two mil i feel like it's just a bit too short i wanted it longer but that's not the applicator's fault that's not my fault 
That's just the grass that I had. I think it's the right color. Slight variations on a bright light green, but I think it goes well with these plants, makes them blend in a lot nicer. I've added a couple of rocks as well to fill up this space, just give them a nice little area. Again, the grass is all sticking up in lots of different directions. It's so, so cool. And that's it guys, that is, that is the static grass applicator as i mentioned there'll be a link below hopefully an affiliate link if you'd like to pick one up and support the channel but for me if you're if you want your grass sticking up it's it's a no-brainer if you've got huge areas to cover then it's a no-brainer i wouldn't like to do this without one of those you could cover this if i put glue all over this mat i could make myself a nice grassy cutting mat hmm let me know in the comments below if I should have a grass-based cutting mat. I don't think it's a good idea, but it might look cool. It looks like I'm painting on grass all the time. And then the third one, I guess, is just if you want to make your own grass tufts. I, they can, I hadn't practiced this whatsoever. I just did it one, one go on camera, just guessing how, how it would work. And that's worked beautifully. And I'm well impressed. And I'll be making my own grass tufts in the future. So quite a few uses in there. The negatives is it's a little bit messy and there's that fear that you're going to slightly statically shock yourself, which isn't a pleasant feeling, but I, I'm sure it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it though as much as my brain's like, just touch it. Just touch it. Find out. Don't touch it. It's going to hurt. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you again next week.